who is ready for a Sephora haul? Because I know I am. Da 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 da! Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Sephora haul. I am so pumped to do this Sephora haul. I have not done a Sephora haul in months. It's been too long. But as you can see, I got a lot of goodies. Along with this haul, I'm also going to include like mini reviews. If you are interested in haul review videos, then just keep watching. The first item I got is the Too Faced Mr. Right Perfect Powder Brush. I have used this a couple times. It's awesome. <laughs> um, it basically says, fall in love with Mr. Right, your perfect partner for powders, bronzers, luminizers, blushes, and long walks on the beach. Sounds like a my harmony profile, doesn't it? But it says the universal do-it-all brush expertly picks up the right amount of pigment, making him the ideal. I love how they give it a him. It's a him. Give him the brush. Making him the ideal companion for powders, bronzers, and blush. His generously sized head. Ah, that's what she said. Cancel your dates. Delete your profile. You've found Mr. Right. Oh, how cute. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see the head of the brush and you just open it up and then pull the little guy out. This is what the brush looks like. It has a little bow tie. This is what the brush head looks like. It is domed and tapered and it comes to a little point so it's perfect for applying powder all over your face. The bristles are really, really soft. I think I was just in the market um, for a different powder brush. My Real Techniques, I love it, but I've had it for so long that it's just kind of like, it's too big for picking up all the powder that I want. It's I wanted something a little more precise. And so this is a really fluffy brush, but at the same time, it's pretty large. So you can fit it easily um, on your face. You can easily contour, you can set your under eye. I mean, because it is domed at the top, it's pretty easy to use it for many different reasons. Next, I got the Tangle Teaser, the original, and I have the plum one. It comes in this little box right here. I saw Jaclyn Hill's favorite video and I had to buy this. I was a little skeptical because I'm kind of particular about my brushes and like if the bristles are really hard, I'm not about to run that through my hair. So it says, innovative teeth configuration for dual action effortlessly detangling, memory flex technology gentle and ideal on wet and dry hair. But it looks like this, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a dog brush, like brush my dog with it. It's actually really great. The bristles are a little, they don't feel too great. I think it works pretty great. Um, I, ha I have not used it on super, super tangly, messy hair yet, but I really like it so far. Next, I bought the Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance perfume. I got a sample of this as one of the 100 point perk things. So this is what my sample one looks like. It's great, but the problem is, is you take this little top off and there's no roller ball, there's no anything, and you just kind of have to apply it like this. I love the way this smells. I can't even describe it. It is like mature and sexy. Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance Eau de Parfum is an embrace of sensual pink peony and mysterious black vanilla. It's not super overpowering. It got the 1.7 fluid ounces. So this is what the big one looks like. Look how cute. I love, love this scent. This is something that I'm going to purchase forever. Next I got, they had buy one get one half off for my favorite mascara. This is the Lash Blast Fusion CoverGirl mascara. It's purple. Let's be real, that's why I bought it in the first place. Oh, and something that I didn't say about the Ralph Lauren scent, it's crazy how well it stays on your skin. I don't wanna spend a ton of money on a perfume that does not last. I sprayed this on my arm when I was in the store and I took a shower, it was still on my arm after the shower. I could still smell it. I got these uh, Batiste, I got two of them, the Medium Brunettes Dry Shampoo. This is awesome, me and my mom go through this like crazy. It's, you know what, I actually need some. Okay, 
I love dry shampoo. I was never a part of the big fad, but ever since I dry, tried this medium one, this medium colored one, I don't like the normal one because it's just so white and it just leaves a horrible white cast in your hair. So this one adds just a little bit of color. I got two of them. Best dry shampoo and probably the cheapest dry shampoo you can get. Next thing I got was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Finishing Powder and I have tried this out. I don't think it's as good as the RCMA powder, which sucks because this is so much more expensive. I do love the airbrushed look it gives to my skin and I do think it helps minimize pores, but for making your makeup last, I don't, I always find myself really oily at the end of the day, but I do like the effect that it gives, but maybe just if you're oily like me, put this on and put a mattifying powder on top. The next item I got was the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I have been wanting to try this very badly. I love the smell of Too Faced stuff. I love the chocolate smell. Considering that we're going into summer, I don't know. I've been changing up my bronzer game a little bit. I've been wanting something a little darker and something maybe a little more dramatic. It's what I am, I have as bronzer today. It's warm, but it's pretty neutral. So I am very happy with this purchase. It smells so good. So this guy is the Revolution Vivid Highlighter. I don't know because some of the writing has rubbed off of the top of it, but it's the, oh, okay. Revolution Makeup a Vivid Baked Highlighter Powder, and this is in the Radiant Lights. They have a couple different ones, and this is what this one looks like. It is more of a drier formula, but again, I love this. It was like, it was so inexpensive, and that's what it looks like on my finger. You see that glow? It's so pretty. I really enjoyed this. At first, I didn't think I'd like it because of the drier formula, but... This looks amazing. Next, I got some, excuse me. Next, I got some Essence lip liners. I've been wanting to try these out, but I don't know. They're so inex inexpensive, so I'm scared that they're not gonna be good. But I've heard really good things about them, so I figured I'd buy them. I got a Wish Me a Rose, Satin Mauve, and Cute Pink. So that's Satin Mauve, Cute Pink, and the Rose one, the first one that I swatched. This item is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Pink Souffle. It's what I have on my lips right now. This is beautiful, and it's really lightweight on my lips. I just posted a video of my March obsession saying that I am over the liquid lip-like phase. So I was hoping that this one would be a little creamier, not as drying because it said stain, but that's that one. It's so pretty and it stays on your lips forever. So I am pleasantly surprised. I'm definitely gonna go buy more because they are so inexpensive. The last like big thing I got, wow, I am. The last big item that I got is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. This is a gel moisturizer and I needed a, I said that word moisturizer. Um, I wanted something a little less heavy, not so much of a thick cream just because I do have oily skin, but this is actually a beautiful moisturizer. It's almost more like a night mask, I would say. It's really, it's not thick, but it doesn't necessarily sink into the skin all the way. You can still feel it on your neck and on your face when you go to bed which I don't mind as long as my hair like doesn't get stuck to it. I think it helps keep your skin really moisturized throughout the night and you wake up and your skin is so soft, you're like, oh. So the next um, three items are lip items actually. I got the Buxom Bold Gel Lipstick. This is the matte formula and it's Sinful Cinnamon. I just talked about this in my March Obsessions, but I had like the mini version, so I went out and got a bigger one. This is great because look, it's just like, it's magnetized, so it's super cool, and it stays on your lips so long. It's that one right there. I just think it's such a neutral, beigey color, and I am so happy with the formula. I love the formula, and it says Buxom on the side of the lip of the lipstick. I'm definitely gonna go get more of these. I bit the bullet, and I got a NARS Audacious lipstick because I could not say no to this color. This is Anita. I'm sure you've heard about this, but see, look, what's great is this, it 
That's what this one looks like. I'll swatch it. It's so creamy. I can't, I mean, can you see how these two are similar? I think I have a favorite shade. This one is Anita and then this one is the Buxom one. This is so creamy and I was so surprised at how well it stayed on the lips for being an audacious and not matte lipstick. I think both of these colors are absolutely beautiful. These two lipstick formulas might be my favorite. For my birthday, I got the little Marc Jacobs sets. This little Marc Jacobs lipstick is in Kiss Me, oh no, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. How cute is that? And as you can tell, it's gonna be very similar to these other colors. Oh, it's actually more pink. So that's this one right here, this little Marc Jacobs one. I'm really excited about this Marc Jacobs lipstick. And then I got a little mini travel size of the highliner that I love so much. This is the only black eyeliner I use. It'll stay in your waterline forever. This is the most excited I have ever been for a sample ever, other than the Marc Jacobs one for my birthday. This is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I am so excited to play with this. I hear it makes you look like a Tin Man, but I do, I have heard from Casey Holmes that the, the scent, I just dropped it. The scent is so overbearing, so we'll see how I like it. I hope you have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Join the fam. Let's be friends. I hope you guys have a great one, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.